Hello to all of our HAEA friends. I'm Tony Castaldo, President and CEO of the U.S. HAE Association. We've invited pharmaceutical companies that are conducting HAE clinical trials to participate in an HAE Association webinar brief to discuss the status of their research efforts. And we are very happy today that Mr. John Stonehouse, Chief Executive Officer of BioCrist, is joining us today in the first of our clinical trial update webinar brief series. Welcome, Mr. Stonehouse, and thanks for taking the time to provide our HA friends with an update on BioCrist's clinical trial for Oladeo, an oral medication taken once a day to prevent HA attacks. Oh. Tony, it's my pleasure. Great always spending time with you and, and the HAE patient community. Thank you. Mr. Stonehouse, we see that BioCris has submitted the results uh, from the Orlandeo phase three clinical trial to the FDA and that the FDA is required to decide on whether to approve the medicine by early December. Could you provide our HAEA friends out there with an overview of the phase three clinical trial and the status of your application with the FDA. Sure, uh, it's been a long road, um, but we're really excited where we are. Uh, you know, we're excited that we completed our phase three clinical trial and e equally excited about the results that we saw in that trial. Enrollment, Tony, was key to that. And, and I'm just so grateful to the HAE patient community in particular in the US that, that participated in our study. I know they've participated in a lot of studies with seven new drugs over the last decade. And so we're incredibly grateful uh, that they were willing to, to come into our study and we completed it in, in what we believe is record time. Um, we still have Apex-S up and running here in the United States. That's the long-term safety study and you know, continuing to gather long-term safety data. But we've submitted everything to the FDA, You know, the, the data from Apex 2, Apex S, and all the other, you know, tons of data that, that is necessary for the agency to make a decision around, you know, is this a drug that they believe is efficacious and, and safe and good for the patient community? And, and as you said, you know, we're expecting uh, a decision uh, on our application uh, around December 3rd. Um, and so until the FDA reaches a decision. I can't get into any more details on the study results, but as I said before, we're pleased with what we've seen and really excited about uh, heading into the, the FDA decision point. That's great. And Mr. Stonehouse, as the, uh, the clinical trial continues and, and people are now receiving Orlandeo while FDA examines the data in advance of the December decision we've talked about, we understand that there has been a protocol change that affects participation in the Orlandeo clinical trial. Could you describe that change for us? Sure, so, so we've uh, announced that we have an expanded access program or compassionate use program for Orlandeo. And under this program, it's eligible to patients that uh, can get access to Orlandeo prior, prior to FDA approval through their physician and this is primarily for patients that were unable to participate in trials like Apex-2 and, and Apex-S. And so we have information on our website about the program and if patients are interested, uh, they can speak to their healthcare providers and, and direct them towards our website. Great, that's quite an opportunity that I don't think many in our patient community uh, really knew about. So finally, Mr. Stonehouse, will end all of these uh, clinical trial update webinar briefs by offering our guests with an opportunity to speak directly to the HA community. It's, it's your chance, Mr. Stonehouse. Yeah, thank you, Tony. I, as you know, um, I've uh, gotten to know your patient community pretty well over the, in particular, the last seven years. I attended my very first summit in Orlando in 2013, and I'm just so grateful that so many in your community have reached out to me, introduced themselves to me and told me their stories because it's been amazing fuel for me personally and for the entire HA, our BioCris community to continue to push forward. You know, this wasn't a straight line to success and, and filing uh, for an oral drug for this disease, 
but you know the the encouragement that we receive from the patient community, the participation in our clinical trials, the physician support that we received, uh, we just couldn't be more grateful. And it's it's just so great to be at this point where we're going to have a decision in December. Well, we wish you the best of luck, Mr. Stonehouse. I guess December is a lot closer than you may realize uh, right now. And so thank you very much for taking the time to participate in this HAEA clinical trial update. And please stay safe. Yeah, you too, Tony. Thank you.